This episode is brought to you by Enervan Active, serious stamina for serious sports. Hi, I'm Glenn Colendrino. I'm uh, the general manager of uh, Primo Cycles. It's a bike shop in the port. Uh, I'm a believer of you know all, all of these uh, new technologies that are coming in. I believe it's there for us to you know to help us. I believe that it's working, especially for us. Yeah. Well, the tri suit you, know, you can you can train with your tri suit, but you can get your swimming trunks, but not the uh, baggy shorts. But has to be fitted, a tight fit, okay? And then uh, usually spandex, of course your goggles, then your swim cap. For the bike, of course, if you are getting into the sport of triathlon, you, you would want to get a tri-specific bike. Of course, that's my forte because since I uh, own a bike shop and I'm also a bike fitter, get yourself a, a good, decent tri, tri-specific bike. And then, of course, your, your helmet and then, of course, your hydration uh, on the bike. That's, that's very important. Try specific because unlike road bikes with um, that has drop, the tri bike is pretty much uh, geared towards you know a more aero position. Most of the triathlons, like of course the 70.3s, they're they're usually long, so you your your body is on a more aero position. Unlike you know when you use a traditional road bike with uh, levers that are up uh, on the handlebars, and then also you know the muscle group that you're using. In triathlon, you're basically more of like isolating your quads because you're going to run, saving your hamstring for the run. So the positioning on a tri bike is very different from a, from a road bike. You can go with the normal road helmets, but you know during races, you can also go for aero, aero helmets. The trend before was, if you notice, you see all those pointed helmets in the back, but right now it's, it's being chopped off. Um, you'll see a lot of uh, different aero helmets that are coming out right now. It mimics like a road bike uh, helmet, but it has less vents. So that's, that's pretty much the trend of what, you know, where the helmets are going right now. Oh, for running, of course, you have to get a trusty pair of uh, running shoes. What, what if you're a neutral, if you pronate, so you, you'd, you'd want to have yourself checked so that the shoes will match your stride. A lot of people are all mostly neutral, but it's, it's worth a uh, try to have yourself checked. Of course, dry fit is always, you know, because you, you manage to sweat a lot. So a cotton t-shirt just won't, you know, won't do it because it will will just be heavy, so dry fit clothes is an essential. Dry fit fabrics, they call it hydrophobic. Um, what it does is, it doesn't make the, the sweat stick to your body, so it drives it out. So you feel more comfortable, less chafing, because it expels the water from, from the fabric. So the first layer, the one that's actually in contact with your skin, is dry. Hence the dry fit. So it really helps, it really helps. It prolongs the, the workouts more. I'm Glenn Colendrino, I'm a triathlete, and that's the game plan. This webisode was brought to you by Enervan Active. Serious stamina for serious sports.